have a look at this oak tree. It's hollowed out. Quite common for oak trees to become hollow like this. And it's a combination of several factors really that causes it. Firstly, is the age of the tree. This tree is probably the best part of 300 years old. Inside of there, something else is going on, something quite dark and... Have a look at this. Can you see this? This is rotten wood. And this is the effects of the wood boring beetles. They come into the tree and they just eat their way through the tree. But what fascinates me just as much as this is what grows inside the tree. Have a look at this. This is called southern bracket fungus. And can you see the shelves on there? Each shelf is a year's growth. Every year they put on a new shelf all the way through. So I guess this one's probably about 20, 30 years old, something like that. This one's actually dead now. And what these are, fungus are the fruiting body. Inside the tree you'll see lots of aphia or mycelium, which are the fungal strands, which are responsible for actually decomposing the wood inside the tree and rotting it down. But inside the tree, what I can see here are some live ones. <clears throat> inside the tree, we've still got the next generation of fungus eating away at the wood and continuing the process of decay, rot and even death in some cases. The fungus, they're reddish brown on the top and underneath when they're alive they've got a white sheen to the bases and that's where they release their spores. And these fungus are only literally a couple of years old. But what fascinates me just as much is not only the species of fungus that's feeding inside the tree but the species of fungus that's feeding on the wood outside the tree. Have a look at this. And here's a great little fungus. This is a member of the Balitus family. This is called Rooting Balit. And they normally form an association with oak trees. It's a fairly common species around Britain. And um, what's happening is this one, it's feeding off of the roots. It's lashed itself around the roots of this tree. And how it works is in a relationship known as symbiosis. The tree is producing sugar and passing it down to this fungus in the soil. And there are certain minerals within the soil that the trees cannot extract for itself. So they form a relationship. The fungus can extract those nutrients. So the fungus will pass those nutrients to the tree and the tree will pass sugars to this particular fungus. This fungus is not edible due to its bitterness, but have a look at this. And this particular species of fungus has got a very bulbous base to it, as you can see by this one. But watch what happens when I cut it open with a knife. Can you see how it's turned blue? And what's happening is the air gets to it, it starts to oxidize inside and it turns blue. And as I said earlier, this is not an edible species of fungus because of its bitterness. But have a look at this. This is where the spores are released through all the filaments in the fungus just there. I've come back to the tree again and I found another species of fungus growing on it. This is a bracket fungus. The name bracket fungus is merely a descriptive name of how fungus grow, basically like a shelf bracket at a 90 degree angle. This species here is called horse hoof fungus and it's been used by humans for thousands of years for carrying embers with them. You would put a hot spark into it and that would glow like a coal for days on end and they would move from camp to camp with that fungus and then that would enable them to start a fire elsewhere. How cool is that? Well, on this single tree we found three species of fungus. One of those three was beneficial, two of them weren't. But that's nature and that's how it works.